Hey guys, Steve here. We are in a series of meditations, devotions, based on Psalm 46, verse 10, which says, be still and know that I am God and that he will be exalted in all the nations. And so we're learning to be still in his presence, to just be real, to be present with him and to learn who he is and who we are in light of him. And one of the Psalms that I've just read uh, this morning is Psalm 85. And there's a fantastic verse, verse 8, that gives us two pieces of advice as we are still in the presence of God. The Psalm was written in a time of crisis or, or trouble. Uh, we don't know the context. And the, the, the writer used it as a chance to self-examine. And so Psalm 85, verse 8 says, I will listen, first point, to what the Lord will say. He promises peace to his people, his saints, but let them not return to folly. That's the second point. So the psalmist says, I'm going to listen during this time of crisis. What is God saying? And he's only promising good to me. He only wants good to me. God is not out to get me in the time of crisis. I'm going to listen. What are you saying, God? And then secondly, as I've learned some of these lessons, I'm not going to return to folly, to foolishness, to sin, to bad habits. And aren't, isn't, isn't, isn't that what our world is saying right now? COVID-19 is going to change us. We're not going to go back to some of those old habits, those old ways, those so old attitudes, the relentlessness, the busyness, the consumption. It, you know, the, there's something we've learned that God is teaching us. And it will be different and similar for each of us. And so be still and know that he is God and listen to what he's teaching you. What, is he, what has he revealed in you? And then don't return to your folly. A great, great book that does a, a commentary on the whole Bible is the New Bible Commentary by IVP. If you want a one volume commentary on the whole Bible, this is as good as it gets. And the one that the man who does the Psalms, he's, he's dead now, called Alex Matia, was an Irishman. And uh, it's an amazing little commentary on the Psalms. And he says this about Psalm 85. Life's troubles do not always indicate God's disapproval. But our reaction should always include self-examination, lest there is sin to be confessed and wrong to be righted. Such was the occasion for this psalm. So when life comes, it's not that God is, you know, angry at us for something specific, but, but we should take the moment. Hebrews chapter 12, God's discipline. Is there, is there a sin here? Is there something I need to do? Is there a wrong to me? What are you teaching? I'm going to use the troubles for self-examination as I listen, and then I'm not going to return to my folly. And we must remember that self-examination shouldn't feel threatening because it says there in verse, in verse 8, he promises peace to his people. He only wants our peace. The context of the whole psalm is actually a, con a prayer for revival. So it says, verse one, restore the fortunes of Jacob. Verse four, restore us again, O God, our saviour. Um, verse seven, show us your unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. So it's a call for revival, but it starts with us. I'm going to listen. I'm not going to return. God is doing something in us and in our nation. Let's pray for revival, but it starts with us. And let's uh, come to listen to him, learn the lessons and then not return to folly. So be still and know that he is God. He's at work and he's for you and he promises peace. Let's listen and let's not return to our folly. Thanks.